Laura Dave is an award-winning author behind the number one best-selling book, The Last Thing He Told Me, which was turned into a really hit TV series starring Jennifer Garner. So it should come as no surprise that Laura's newest novel was declared one of the year's most anticipated books by Goodreads, and it's called The Night We Lost Him. Everyone's been waiting Everybody's for this been one. Waiting. Laura, how are Hi. you? It's so good to see We're you guys. We're so happy you're here. Okay, so you're right. You're, you make these books that mm -hmm. are kind of like candy. They're so yes. fun. And what's interesting is you really start with a question. Yes. What was the question you started with for this one? Well, because this one focuses on a father who um, falls to his untimely death in a suspicious manner, I wanted that story to be rooted in a love story and the secret about why he died to be mm. rooted in that love story. So the question was, what does it mean to be the witness to someone's life? Mm. And what happens if you lose the person who you most want to be the witness to? Oh, mm. God, I love that. I love that, too. Um, I feel like these 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 are quickly turning into things that end up in movies or, or TV series. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that process with your husband. You know, it was it was sort of lovely. Yeah. I know it's, I, I, some people are like, how could you work with your spouse? <laughs> yeah. But um, um, we're each other's sort of first reader for everything. And we love just reading everything mm -hmm. out loud and working together in a room. And it was really great. And we're going to turn this one into a movie. So um, I'm very excited about And he that. always is your first reader. Yeah. Now, is, oh. are there times where he sets things uh -huh. where you're like, Please leave the kitchen. Honey, yeah. That's enough. <laughs> you know, or no. So, so funny because one time, actually, I had put down the last thing he told me, and I was working on another book, and I was struggling with it, and he said, I think you should pick that book back up. Yeah. But, you know, in your my infinite kindness, when you're struggling with something, I'm like, that's just the stupidest idea I've ever heard. <laughs> but then I picked it up, and then I... And he was he right. He was right. I, so he, you know, So uh, now I, like, try to give him a second. The know? last thing uh, he told me is renewed for season two, which yes. is for Garner. Yes. By the way, how cool is just that whole thing? And what what, what can you tell us about season two? Well, she isn't, she's, like, the she's best amazing. human. She's the loveliest. Yeah, the, loveliest. the best human, and so lovely. It's just really exciting. You know, I'm writing a sequel, which will come out, and then the, the show will come out. But we're starting to shoot in a few weeks, which is just wild. I can't believe we're Wait, here so again. you're writing a sequel mm -hmm. that the second season is based on? Yes. But it hasn't published yet, and the second season is already shooting? Yes, they're going to So I, I sat down with everyone. I walked them the through. Template. I have a whole draft. You know, so I'm just, I'm in the middle of making it, you know, I have, I have 17 drafts to go before it's <laughs> But that's amazing. Yes. I feel like it doesn't normally work that yes, way. Yes, yes, yes. Well, it's when wild people are such great writers, we always go, like, what are they reading? What are their picks? So do you have some picks for us? I have, I have so many picks. Okay. And, I, and I do have to say, too, um, your picks are always oh. the most amazing. One book I loved so much was The Wedding People. Wasn't it so oh, good? Oh, my Alison God. I keep talking Remember yes. we fell in yes, love with her? we loved her. Uh, we were just talking about it outside. I feel like I know you recommended it to everyone. I feel like I'm recommending it, too. I just love it. Oh, so, thank so. you. Love it. Okay. Um, and I have some other ones that I just absolutely love. Tell, uh, tell it to me singing. Mm -hmm. It is, they're just the most extraordinary mother-daughter duo. It's heartfelt. It's a gem of a novel. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just warm and endearing and a little bit heartbreaking, too. And I just love a great mother and daughter yeah, story. Yeah, me too. What's the plot line of that? So, um, basically, they are trying to, um, she's trying to uncover sort of a secret, or she uncovers mm -hmm. a secret about her mother's past. And I kind of love a love family that. mystery. Yeah, like yes. that. Me too. I love this book. I read it. You I, that did? piano scene, though, whoo, I spicy. Mean, you like spicy. <laughs> this is just... Um, yes. Spicy. Yeah, spicy. <laughs> That's the, that is the right word. Tia Williams song is amazing. For Ricky Wilde. Yes. About that one. Um, so it is, for, I just love her books. I yeah. love her writing. Me too. Um, it is, is sexy and fresh and funny. And, you know, it feels like almost a, like a fairy tale mm -hmm. that you're reading. Yeah. It's like a love story meets a fairy tale. Because it kind of has some magic realism yes, to it, Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's I just, so good. Mm -hmm. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't put this one down. Okay, you, tell us about the winner. Okay, mm -hmm. the winner was, surprised me. The winner is a mystery with a narrator who you think you understand. He is someone who walks into this community, um, this very wealthy community. He's a tennis instructor and um, in, in the middle of COVID. And it turns out he's not who you think. Ooh, that sounds mm -hmm. fun. He gets involved with a mother and then with a daughter. Ooh, oh, wow. I think yes. Okay. Yes. he's just taking up tennis all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm just kidding.
happening. What about Heartburn okay. by Nora Ephron? Oh, it's yeah, amazing. this is. Do you guys have books that you just read yeah, and read? Yes. Every, yeah. I read this every fall. Like comfort. Ooh. You read as, it every fall? As soon as the leaves turn, I feel like, you know, Nora Ephron is fall. You've got me. This is my favorite book. It's my go-to book whenever I just need to feel like I'm getting a hug. I, I feel like it's being read to me out loud. Oh. Um, it's about the end of a marriage, and so it doesn't feel like it should be a yeah. hug, but it is. And she's a cookbook writer in the in the novel, um, and it has wonderful recipes in it that you can Ooh, make. I want to read that it in the fall. Oh, so don't much. you? I am I stealing it from no, you? No, you got it. And something that I love so much is if you want to listen to the audiobook, Meryl Streep reads the oh, audiobook. Like yeah. Tom Lake, which was the yeah, best. The best. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Thank well, Laura, so we much, love Laura. you. This Thank book you. is awesome, mm -hmm. you guys. I got a chance to read it. And you can find The Night We Lost Him and all of Laura's book recommendations at today.com slash books or wherever you get your books. And we'll be back right after this.